This is your first time fishing. Alone. No dad, mom, YouTube video beside you. Just you. And the silent wilderness. There isn't a lot of fish. There is fish, and you suspect you might even get one. You just have to sit and wait for a long time. Suddenly, you feel a tug. You've caught something. Hold on a second. Yes, you appear to have caught something, but how do you know it's a fish? What if it's an old boot? What if it's the hand of the person who drowned in this lake several years ago? Or what if you did catch a marine animal? It's just not a fish, it's the Loch Ness Monster. It's easy to figure out, just reel it up and see. But sometimes the fish you catch flees, or it's too heavy for you to lift up, maybe even both. And even if the fish were in your hands, you don't know what kind of fish it is, you're not an expert. And if it wasn't clear already, this is an analogy, a needlessly pedantic analogy, I should stop making this video. Whenever something is detected, be it a particle in an accelerator or gravitational waves in an interferometer, this is the line of questioning that usually follows, except for the fish. Your job as an experimental physicist is to catch the blip or the bump, reel it in and figure out what the hell is going on. The tug of the rod is usually an anomaly in the signal, but hang on. How do you know it was the signal you were looking for? You reel your catch up, and in this case, it's checking the value the theory predicts. However, it is likely that your book or theory is wrong. Never mind that. The bigger problem is that humans are extremely flawed creatures. If your career is on the line, what's stopping you from faking the data? Because you already know what the answers are. Also, how do you know your machine is even working? What if thing happens and your machine just isn't working in the way you expected it to? This is, after all, your first time fishing. How do you know you've mastered the skills to whatever extent to successfully catch fish and do whatever people do once they catch fish for sport? Your dad, mom, Mr. Miyagi put a fish in there just to see if you could catch said fish without your knowledge to observe if you were doing the things you were supposed to be doing in the event that there actually was a fish. While testing or even while running a detector, there are several decoy signals that look a lot like the actual signal inserted into the database such that the people and computer systems working on it would behave as though the signal was actually caught. Crucially, when they find the signal, they don't know it's a decoy. It's like a fire alarm drill, except they don't say, this is a drill, for a while. What follows from a detection is, firstly, a lengthy procedure to see if it was a decoy, and secondly, to figure out what exactly you detected. Now, I'm not saying that you should follow these steps when you fish the next time. In fact, please don't. But it's an interesting way to think about the fact that the first gravitational wave was detected on the 14th of September 2015 and was only announced on the 11th of February 2016. And that the Higgs boson was detected in some run in 2011 and was only announced on the 4th of July 2012. So, the next time you fish and feel like you're not getting anything for a while, well, it's a good thing to really take your time and actually make sure you're getting what you're fishing for. <laughs> Check for decoys, kids, and have fun fishing. I have no idea. <laughs>